When Renee got back from Virginia checking on her mom, she was kind of under the weather. Doctor's office located right beside the Pharmacia Similaris. It's that way all across Mexico. You can go in and get a medical exam, or check up or whatever, for just a couple of dollars. Okay, Renee wasn't feeling well, so we went to Pharmacia Similaris, to the little doctor there beside it. Uh, tell us about your experience. It was good. He didn't speak much. English and I didn't speak much Spanish, but I had put it in my Say Hi app of what was going on. <clears throat> and then he checked me, checked my throat, checked my ears, and it's uh, infection with inflammation. Okay. How much was your visit? It was 60 pesos, which is $3.34. And the meds were. $3.34. How can we ever afford medical care like that? In the in the USA, after your deductible, that would have been what, fifty or sixty bucks or something like that. Oh uh, no, it would have been in the hundreds. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because we're no insurance. So. Oh yeah, we have that uh, uh, health sharing plan that we do. Yeah. Okay. That uh, and she got her meds there while she was at Pharmacia yeah. Similaris. So all's good. Another thing we needed to do today was get Jenny groomed. Beside the bus station, there's a little shopping mall, and Woof, I think was the name of the place, and Woof is for getting your dog groomed. And nice little place, and we'll come back and check on her in just a little bit, but you know what? I'm a little peckish, a little hungry. I'm always hungry. While we're waiting on Jenny to get out of the groomers, let's go get uh, something to eat. Alma and Manny's, we've been hearing about that. Got to check it out. Got a lemonade, and it's a natural lemonade, made right there. Lemonada Natural. Renee got Jamaica. That's her drink of choice. All for 280 pesos. So that was about $15.88 U.S. dollar. I we just had what you saw. It was good. Uh, there at Alma and Manny's, great guacamole. And uh, yeah, my fish taco was good. You had, what was yours? Pollo. Pollo, chicken it taco. And uh, the tortilla soup. Hey, if you look back on our videos when we were around Puerto Vallarta, remember Ernesto's Good Grub? Best tortilla soup I've ever had. But this is a close second. Mm -hmm. Arranged a little bit differently, a little different recipe to it, but it's really good. Met a really nice young man named Josh in there. Josh, hi there to you, man. Mm -hmm. uh, from Ontario, going all around through Mexico, having a great life. and. We wish you the very best, man. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go see what there is to see. On Renee's birthday, which is May the 24th, we went to La Esquina, which is a cafe, a coffee shop. Supposedly, it has great internet and we definitely need fast internet speed to upload some videos to YouTube. Uh, it's a great place. They have great breakfast and great uh, music. However, the upload speed was 0 0.79 megabytes per second. If you don't know, that's not good. But just because we couldn't upload a video didn't mean we couldn't enjoy breakfast. Renee had pancakes and fresh fruit. I had blueberry pancakes and fresh fruit and a cup of good coffee. They're coming around to the birthday girl. Hey friends, today is Renee's birthday. Not going to tell you which one, but it's not 29. And uh, we came up to a little pizza place. Uh, it was It's a Wednesday, and the Italian restaurant she wanted to eat at was closed on Wednesdays. So we're going to have some pizza. You'll get to see what it looks like. And I think a pear salad and some focaccia bread. And uh, anyway, looks like it'll be good.
got this huge pear salad to share. And there's the focaccia bread. Focaccia. Pardon? Focaccia. I'm saying it wrong. It's focaccia bread. Either way, it's bread. There it is. <laughs> that delicious meal cost us 560 pesos, which is about 31, 32 U.S. dollars. So, like I've said before, a little on the pricey side, but hey, not that bad. And the food was excellent. Been having these slow internet speeds, and I would love to tell you that we found a location where you can go and upload videos and, and all, but it's just not here. What is here are some very kind people. I ran into a fellow by the name of Alvaro. Alvaro works for Caldwell Banker. He's a realtor here in town. Actually, I was getting a new tire and having it put on the Subaru. This guy was having four new tires put on his car. I explained the situation to him a day or so later, and he said, hey, I've got fast internet at my house. Bring your computer over and your wife and your pup. I'll, I'll help you out. And he did. And we had a great time with Alvaro. And in fact, he has definitely become our friend here. I'll put a link to Caldwell Banker so that you can contact him if you are looking for real estate in the Toto Santos or in the La Paz area. All right, taking a little bit of a walkabout through Toto Santos today and see what there is to see. It's a Saturday, and so plenty going on in town. Generally, parking is a little bit of an issue in Toto Santos. Uh, streets are usually full, so you have to look for parking lots like this. Uh, this one is a pay by the hour. And good gracious, it's like, uh, like $2 an hour. It's a little spendy. And you see plenty of little street dogs. Now that is a little street dog there. And there are several laundry mats around town. A lot of times where you're staying doesn't have a washer and dryer and you have to get the laundry done. There are several places and I'll show you later one of them that we go to and it costs uh, just a couple of dollars. Toto Santos doesn't really have big grocery stores, not like La Paz and other cities. It's only about 6,000 population here, and so you don't have Sorianas and Shedrawis, but you do have the little local mercados like this, and the fruit and veggie stands. No big name hotels here, but little small boutique hotels and this one seems to be nice and they've got a pool. This store is neat and they've got pottery and things like that, but what I want you to notice is what happens with the broken pottery. It's embedded into the sidewalk. I told you 
you that uh, for grocery stores, a lot of times you go to a little fruit market. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here's one of the local markets. Does not get any fresher than that. Across the street, you got a little bit larger markets uh, that will carry all the other things that you would need. All right, we've worked up a little bit of an appetite. Are you hungry? You want something to eat? Let's, hey, pull up a chair. Let's go get something to eat. When we were out walking a couple of days ago, we saw this restaurant, checked them out on TripAdvisor, and you know, hey, it looks pretty good. Renee got flank steak, and it looks like some potatoes and guacamole and some steamed veggies as well. I got a shrimp stuffed chili, chili relleno, and it's got guacamole and some other good stuff there, and there are probably some fresh tortillas. We're here for Renee's birthday, and, and the waiter just brought out some earrings for Renee. Happy birthday! Now, I am not a flan guy, so I got these apples that have been baked, got ice cream on the side, but Renee, she does like the flan. Okay, we had a wonderful dinner there for Renee. It was a little bit spendy. It was 1,470 pesos for what you saw there, and that's about 82 US dollars. So, like I said, a little spendy, but Toto Santos is a little spendy. Mm -hmm. Toto Santos is a wonderful town to visit. Not sure that I could live here. I mean, I could live here, but I don't have enough money to live here. Uh, things are expensive. From what I understand, the median listed house in real estate here is, get this, are you sitting down? <laughs> Glad you are. One million dollars. One million US dollars for the average, the median listed house. It's expensive and you know my question is you know how do the locals afford to live here and they can't so what they do is they sell uh, their property that may be right close to the Pacific Ocean and they sell it to gringos who come down sell it for big money gringo tears down whatever bills big multi-million dollar house and the locals move inland a little bit. You know, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Uh, don't care for that. Don't like that. If you're going to move to an area, live like the locals, and don't raise the prices of things because of you coming there. Just my, my thoughts there for you. Which really, that might explain the reason why there are so many South Dakota license plates here. In fact, I swear, I think there are probably more South Dakota license plates on the Baja Peninsula than there are in South Dakota. I mean, just my thought on that one. But you know, Toto Santos is a great place to visit. Uh, you have to be very wealthy, like I've said, to live here. But it's a great place to visit, and I highly, we highly recommend it. I mean, it's the place you'd come down for a long weekend or a couple of weeks. Uh, especially during the summer, nice breezes off the Pacific Ocean, and uh, gorgeous town, a lot of artisans, and a lot of neat, uh, you know, beautiful things, silversmiths, and paintings, and, and uh, just gorgeous things, and bumpy roads, oh. uh, that bumpy road, it's gonna be a bumpy ride, but, uh, and it's a younger crowd here, definitely a younger vibe to the town, but, uh, 
you need to give Toto Santos a try. Come check it out. Okay, going to pick up the laundry. If you drop a load off, it's usually ready that afternoon or the next morning, and it's uh, like $3.40 U.S. Before you leave, let me show you what I am afraid of. This is why you have screens at your doors, at your windows. You're still going to see them trying to get in. I spray for them. This one, he won't hurt you. I promise you, he will not hurt you. I hope it does not offend you, but he is mortis. He is dead. I killed him before he could kill me. Hey, thanks so much for watching our videos, for hitting the like button, for sharing, for joining us on the journey. We appreciate you. Don't forget, hey, we have a new channel. I'll put a link to it uh, in the description section, in the comment section, and it's called Take a Breath. I think you'll enjoy it. Dios te bendiga, mi amigos. <laughs>